Hi, I'm Chef Scott here at the Harris Theater Kitchen. Today, I'm gonna to show you one of my all-time favorites, shrimp and grits. We're gonna start out in a non-stick saute pan, a little olive oil, this is extra virgin that we picked up at Harris Teeter. We're gonna add a little garlic to this. Okay, we're also gonna add some bacon I've already pre-cooked. We're going to add some red pepper. This is fresh red pepper that we got out of the Harris Teeter Farmer's Market. You can also use roasted red pepper. And also some purple onion. You use shallots, sweet padalias, white onions, whatever you choose to use. It's fine. We've got some grits that we've already prepared. I'm just following the instructions on the box. You could use polenta. Uh, stone ground corn, any, anything that you want to use would be fine. We're going to add our shrimp in. These are 1620s that we got out of the fisherman's market. Uh, they're peeled to vein, tail on. Okay. Spread these out a little bit so they'll cook evenly. And it won't take but a few minutes and uh, we'll have this thing up and running in just a sec here. We're going to season, of course, with uh, fresh cracked pepper and salt. The bacon's salty as is, so uh, be moderate on your salt, or you don't have to use it at all. Okay. We're going to add in a little hot sauce as well. Whatever your favorite brand is will be fine. We're going to also add in a little bit of chicken stock. A touch of heavy cream. You can use uh, beef stock, vegetable stock, chicken stock, whatever you really want to use. You can even use fish stock for this. Uh, we have chicken stock today, so that's what we're going to use. Turn these shrimp over. Just going to cook just a little bit on each side. They're already starting to turn pink, so I know that they're just about ready. This is a dish, again, you can prepare most of the ingredients in advance. Have your shrimp peeled, deveined. Have your bacon cooked. Or if you have uh, breakfast one morning and have leftover bacon, it's a perfect opportunity to cut a corner. Okay. We're gonna add in some pepper jack cheese. This will kind of bind this liquid and all the mixture together. As little or as much as you like. Okay. Be careful not to get this too hot or your sauce will break. And if so, just add a little liquid, uh, water, more of the cream, wine, bourbon, whatever you choose to use. Okay, and last but not least, we're gonna add some uh, green onions. That's about done there right over the grits. And there you have it. This is Shrimp and Grits. I'm Chef Scott at the Harris Cedar Kitchen. And remember, just have fun. There's no place I'd rather be My Harris Teeter